What's up, YouTube? This is James coming back at you with another informative video. Unfortunately, it is some real bad, heinous news. You know, I hate doing reporting, you know, stories like this simply because it's got something to do with our own people, you know. And uh, the thing is, I don't understand what is going on, you know. This story comes out of uh, Morrisville, Pennsylvania, where... There were five relatives found dead in suspected killing spree. This is just somewhat to me unheard of because you just don't hear a lot of these things going on with our people. At this point, it's safe for me to say um, something wicked has come this way. You know, our way as a people. Because, uh, like I said, a lot of times when you hear killing sprees taking place, in a house, a lot of times, uh, what you, you know, you hear about it. The first thing comes to mind to me is that somebody white, you know, that does shit like this. See, uh, as I can see, I'm starting to be debunked, you know, with thinking that way. I, I sure hate it though, but yeah, this is what's going on. Um, there's a couple videos. They're not that long. It's probably about two minutes tops. Two and, two and a half minutes in total. And uh, I want to play those videos. And then we can get a better perspective of this, this, this story here. And then I'll get into my commentary. I have to report that we have two suspects in custody for the homicide of five people at this apartment complex behind me. Shannon Decree. 45 years old and her daughter Dominique Decree, 19 years old, were both treated earlier and are now in custody. Five counts of homicide, each and one count of criminal conspiracy. They're both residents of apartment S7, where we found five of their relatives today about 4 p.m. All five of them <clears throat> are deceased and they are as follows Shana Decree's children. Nyira, age 25, Damon Decree Jr., age 13, Shannon Decree's sister, Jamila Campbell, age 42, and Campbell's twin daughters, Erica and Imani Allen, both age 9. A mother and daughter are accused of a shocking crime. Shayla and Dominique Decree have been charged with murdering five family members, including three children. It's a terrible tragedy. We just spoke with the family of all five of the deceased, and we're all heartbroken. The pair are accused of killing Shayna's 25-year-old daughter and 13-year-old son, as well as Shayna's sister, Jamila Campbell, and her nine-year-old twin girls. Police performing a wellness check on Monday afternoon found their bodies at this apartment complex where they all lived together. The apartment was in disarray and 45-year-old Shayna and 19-year-old Dominique were found disoriented in bed, police say. Both were taken to the hospital where, according to police, both agreed to speak without an attorney. Shayna told them that Jamila's boyfriend and two other men burst into the apartment and killed everyone, according to police. The boyfriend has not been charged. But later, police say, Shauna said all of the family members wanted to die and that Jamila helped kill the children before being killed herself. Both Shana and Dominique are facing murder and conspiracy charges, according to the district attorney. I wish I had better news to report, but this is important, so we wanted to come out here at this point to make sure that everybody knew that the people that committed these atrocious acts are now in custody and will be made to pay for their crimes. Police say the investigation into the deaths is ongoing. For InsideEdition.com, I'm Kaylin Ford. Now to me, that is a real shocker. I'm telling you, what the hell was going through their mind that would, would inspire them to even murder their, their people like that? Five relatives, you know? None of this makes a lick of sense to me, you know? And this was a mother and daughter team that did this. See, what's behind this shit? See, um, now to me, 
it was plain to see the the woman that was on the uh, left, which I guess I guess is the mother. She was the one that made all the, de the, the decisions, you know, and the 19 year old, her daughter, she she followed her, you know. This was her mom's idea to me, but it's insane. It, it just don't make sense to me, you know. Uh, let's get into the story. A mother, a mother and daughter were arrested on Monday for allegedly killing five family members in their Pennsylvania apartment who the mother claims are wanted to die. Who they, She said all of them wanted to die. Authority said. And even if that's the case, it wasn't your place to take it out. You know, it, it just wasn't your place to do that. Shannon Decree, 45, and her 19-year-old daughter, Dominique Decree, allegedly carried out a killing spree in their two-bedroom apartment in Morrisville, Pennsylvania, about 30 miles northeast of Philadelphia. Police discovered the apartment in disarray with the gruesome scene during a wellness check Monday afternoon about 4 p.m. local time. Hmm. The victims were identified as Shannon Decree's children, Nora Sims, Nora Smith, sorry people, 25 and Damon Decree Jr., 13, as well as her sister, Jamelia Campbell, 42, and Campbell's nine-year-old twin daughters, is that Amani and Erica Allen. Now, look, you see, looking at this woman right here, you can see uh, emptiness there. You know? She looks just like a heartless dog. You see what I mean? The look that's in her eye. Very like empty looking and heartless. I've seen mad dogs that look this way. I, you know, I, I, I've seen them that look this way. Like I said, it's something wicked this way has come. Um, those of you that may have watched my first video may know what I'm talking about. Ever since I've been made aware of what's going on around us, there, you know, I've been noticing a lot of crazy, bizarre, uh, things like this taking place, you know, um, to name a couple stories, the one time where the mother, you know, put, put her baby, this was just, I think in December, if I'm not mistaken, she put her baby in the oven and she cooked the baby and she was black. See, then I think it was just what, in January, if I'm not mistaken, where two juvenile sisters, I think one was like, it could have been 16 and the other one like 12 or 13. I'm not sure. They killed their mother just because I guess she, you know, like doing a little discipline, putting them on punishment for whatever reason, thinking coming in later, some shit. And look, all she did was take their cell phone and they they shot they got the mother's gun shot their mother stabbed the mother and i think if i'm not mistaken even try to run the mother yeah she tried they tried to run the woman over you know i think before that see <laughs> this is bizarre shit you know when it comes down to you know hearing about black people i know over time you know every now and again you hear some bizarre shit you know among our people but not like this it just was i mean not like this you know okay back to the story campbell's 17 year old son joshua campbell whose whereabouts were unknown monday evening has been located and is safe according to the bucks county district attorney's office he was not at the apartment at the time of the murders. Buck County's District Attorney Matthew Weindrop told reporters Tuesday. It's a good thing he won. Probably would have murdered him too. You know, another thing they didn't say, I guess this must have been, you know, carried out with a gun. You know, 
But nobody, I mean, they didn't, they didn't make that known if the people were shot or anything. But I got, I'm just speculating that that's probably what it was. There are no other suspects, Weindrop said. I just feel very confident that we have the two killers locked up that committed these atrocious, atrocious murders. He's, he had it. Yeah, that's just what they are. See, okay. You see, you see this? Just look. Just look at our eyes, right? Now look at the daughters. See the daughters? That's a pretty much normal uh, way, uh, way of looking right there. She followed her mother. Her mother, she was the ringleader in the situation. I don't see the deadness and the emptiness in her eyes. I just see stupidity, you see. But she followed her mother. Her mother, she orchestrated this shit. You know, now me personally, what I think from this moment on, what needs to happen, you know, once it's proven beyond a shadow or reasonable, or whatever kind of doubt is proven beyond, they need to go straight on ahead and strap their ass to the table, give them the needle or whatever, and send them on their fucking merry way for doing some heinous shit like this. See? Okay, eight people, including both of the suspects, were residing in the small apartment, Weindrup said. Authorities have not disclosed a motive nor the cause of, causes of death. The case is still under investigation. We're working on some theories, but it wouldn't be fair for me to speculate, so I'm not going to, Weindrup said. During questioning, Shannon Decree told police that everyone at the apartment wanted to die, according to the affidavit of probable cause. Dominique Decree, who made, who had visible injuries to her neck, asked people, <laughs> asked police if her family was alive, and reportedly advised her wish to die. Hmm. According to the affidavit. So what did the mother? Is this this Dominique right here? Did the mama choke her or some shit? That's crazy. This is a terrible tragedy. I just spoke with the family of the five deceased, and were all heartbroken. Weindrup said at a press conference late Monday. I wish I had a better news to report. Uh huh. Mm -mm. Shannon Decree was arraigned early Tuesday morning and is being held without bail. Her daughter was expected to be arraigned later in the day. They each faced five counts of criminal homicide and one count of conspiracy to commit criminal homicide, according to the Bucks County District Attorney's Office. I wanted to come out here, he added. And make sure that everybody knew that the people that committed these atrocious acts are now in custody. And will be made to pay for their crimes. It's unclear if either suspect has related, has retained an attorney. Oh, well, <laughs> whatever, man. I, you know, this with this, this crazy shit, man. You know, what, what, what did he with attorneys for if they did this shit? That's my point. But it's it's crazy. It's weird. But this is what I was talking about. Back to uh, like I brought up about my first video. It's important people to watch that video. It's called to the black sector of YouTube. We are being watched. It has nothing to do with um, maybe I should have put picked a better title. I don't know. But it has nothing to do with being watched, what we say or do here on social media. We already know that's what's happening. But what is happening is basically is there's been <laughs> spirits, souls that's floating around us 
You see? And they're hiding in plain sight. And they own everything, just about everything in our homes. They're all outside. They're everywhere. Just watch the video. And I'm thinking, in a lot of these crazy, strange, bizarre cases, they are the factor as to who they're getting into and possessing them. I honestly believe that. See? But y'all tell me what y'all think about this situation. Uh... Make sure, you know, like, you live in among your relatives, your people, whoever it is you live among, you know. Watch them. Just watch each other, you know. If people start acting strange, get from around them. You know what I mean? Because there's a lot of crazy shit going on these days. Start acting strange, doing shit out of the ordinary, talking crazy ways you never heard them talking, this and that. Hey. Just get away from around them or whatever or be ready. However way you got to do it, you see. Because to be honest with you, a lot of us don't know it or a lot of us do know it or a lot of us know it and just don't want to realize it and accept it. We are now living in a horror movie. That's basically what it is. See? But um, I'm curious to know what you guys think about this situation. So make sure you you comment and um, like, share, and subscribe. And uh, look, people, for the ones that hasn't subscribed, it doesn't cost anything to subscribe. Go ahead and subscribe. And then, you know, y'all comment and all that kind of stuff. And we'll talk. And this is James, and I'm out. Peace.